Hello, hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Anna. Today I'm coming to you with a very simple, very basic technique how you can create art journal. Sometimes we have a block, art block, how to create, what to do. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed with art supplies we're holding. So today's session is going to be absolutely basic. I'm sure you have plenty of stencils at home and plenty of ink pads, some stamps. This is the art materials what we will be using today. So I will be working with this beautiful design from 2021 Crafty Workshop Winter Release. And I'm reaching out for Distress Ink. Uh, I will be using the mustard seed color. So I'm going to just transfer my beautiful flower onto my pages. So I'm just dabbing the blending tool into the ink pad and just transferring my image. Very simple, very basic technique. Look how gorgeous this stencil is. Now, if you don't have this stencil, it might be an idea to check Crafty Workshop website or you can also check the scrapbook.com for a Crafty Workshop supply. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to create a few flowers in my art journal. And as you can see, I'm not transferring the full image from my stencil. I'm only transferring the center of my stencil, which is this beautiful flower. And that's what I love about the Crafty Workshop stencil. They are very versatile. So you don't have to use the full image from your stencil, you can just use the partial image and you will get a beautiful, beautiful designs. Now the second um, stencil what I will be using today is this beautiful bricks. That the kind of like a basic designs I'm going for. So it's nothing complicated, like I said, it's totally something for beginners, something whenever you've got a very short time to create. So for this journal, you literally just need a few minutes and you're done and dusted. Okay, so in today's art journal, I'm not going to go for white space. Uh, I'm going to just cover whole pages in my art journal. So I'm just going to fill the gaps using this beautiful bricks design um, in my pages. And then I'm going to move on and do some stamping. Like I said, today I'm working with absolutely basic tools. So it's not going to be something advanced, it's going to be something to start, to break that block to begin. Okay, so I'm just transferring the image like so. In few places, I'm inking a little bit more, a little bit more intense. In some places, I'm inking a little bit lighter. So it has this nice movement when the color is moving from darker to lighter a shadow. Now, working with distress inks, this is something what I really like, especially with oxide, when they're giving this nice chalky effect. So, look at these pages. They almost don't. They don't need much more there. Now, I'm going to go up a little bit further and I'm going to create a few stamping. So, I'm reaching for this beautiful stamp set and I'm going to use this word hello. Um, I'm working with... Vesa Fine Claire ink. Uh, if you're going for a very nice crispy stamp image, then this is the ink you can definitely go for and use. Now, if you want to use a Ranger Archival ink, then by all means you can also do that. Uh, and you can also stamp with Distress Oxides ink. So this is this is the idea for you what type of inks you can use. So I'm just inking my stamp and just uh, stamping directly on my pages. Now, don't be afraid to stamp directly on your pages. Sometimes the image will not transfer perfectly fine. You can go and try to fix it by stamping over and over again, or you can just leave it like that and maybe use a black pen and just, you know, um, fix the lines whenever it didn't transfer properly. But with our journaling, there is not such a rules you have to stick to. It's absolutely freedom. Whatever applies to your eye, then by all means, this is something we can do. Okay. So to finish off my sentiment there, I'm reaching for another stamp set and I'm stamping the word, hello, you are wonderful. So I think this is absolutely lovely. Uh, idea for you to take away and 
create. So like I said, it's absolutely basic tools. And as you can see, um, I create a little bit of a mess on my pages. Um, by accident, I touched my ink pad and I had a blank, black ink on my fingers and I smudged it on my pages. So I'm just gonna go for this flower stamp and I'm gonna just cover that, okay? I'm also gonna create a few more uh, flower uh, stamps on my um, corners here and there and in a second you will see how I was trying to fix my stamping when the impression wasn't perfect and like I said I went over and over and stamped a few times like you see it didn't stamp properly in first place uh, and also working with with adrenaline uh, when the surface is a little bit bulky the stamping impression might not be perfect, but I'm absolutely fine with what I've created. Now, if you're afraid this is something where you're not happy about, this is something what not appeal to your eye, then you can go and cover with gesso and then re-ink the pages with, with the brick stencil again or whatever other inks and uh, design you will be using. Then absolutely it's your own choice, your own idea. I'm happy what I see here. Okay. <music> of my pages I'm gonna reach out for black pen and just create a nice loose sketchy lines just to create a nice border for my um, journal so I'm not really paying much attention how I'm drawing these lines like you see I'm very loose to finish off my pages I'm gonna just make a few splatters with black acrylic paints which I'm diluting with water and I'm just creating a few splats now, as you can see, I'm not splatting all over on my pages. I'm only splatting where the black uh, flowers been stamped. So this is the idea for you to, to look at the project, not to splash everywhere, just to splash in places. Because I've got a black image there, that's where I'm splatting the black splats. And there we go. My art journal is finished with basic art supplies. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you're gonna try it yourself. That's everything from me for you today, my lovely friends. Take care, all the very best to you all. I hope you're keeping up well and safe. Till the next time, I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now.